Hey guys, I just want to do a quick product update because I've had so many questions. So if you're interested in Retin-A, if you're interested in the Trophy Skin Microdermabrasion and the spatula that I've been using, as well as some life updates, stay tuned. But before I go there, I just want to tell you how thankful I am for all of you. You know, when I started my channel in 2009, I never thought, ever thought, that YouTube would be a community for me. I just thought it was a place that I could upload my videos, host my videos, and then share my videos out to my real estate blog and to my other social sites. I never ever dreamed that YouTube would become a hub and a nucleus, sort of like a family for me over time. And I have a lot of videos. I have a lot of real estate type videos. I do have a second sec second channel that I'm now devoting solely to real estate. I also have another channel that is devoted solely to the real estate school that I run for work. So, you know, I have three channels. I, I have been on YouTube. I'm not a YouTube virgin in the sense of not knowing what's going on on YouTube. I, um, I've always believed in growing and even when I teach social media classes I've always believed in growing your social your digital footprint organically that the more you are real the more that you are you the more that you can resonate with some people you may not resonate with them all I mean for sure I have people that I don't know why they watch my videos but they do they watch my videos I think just so that they have something to be critical about at times but anyways I digress so I am so super super thankful that YouTube has turned into this place for me where I can go where I can share some of my journey some of my ups and downs and my skincare and what I'm doing but before I even go to the rest of this I just want to say that you all know I'm not giving skincare advice I'm not a dermatologist obviously I'm just a woman that's going on a journey and I'm just sharing it publicly and I may not be everyone's cup of tea I don't expect to be everyone's cup of tea but if you're my age and you have a late start on skincare there might be some things that I talk about that might be of interest so that said I started this journey on YouTube in 2009, but I did not start my skincare journey until probably about three years ago, you know, roughly when I really started to think about it. And when I started to slowly talk a little bit about skincare, but you know, you always remember your first. And it's Thanksgiving and it's the season to be thankful. You always remember your first. And I will be forever grateful for my firsts. And I've had a number of them. You know, when I talk about my very first shout out, I have to give full credit to Mary Ellen after 60. She gave me my first shout out. I will never, ever forget it. I was at a conference. I had no idea what was going on, but I was getting all these notifications on my YouTube channel. I was like thinking, oh my gosh, it got hacked or something. But it was Mary Ellen giving me a shout out for Care Pros for my eyelash journey and how I was using the Care Pros, how I was trying to do it more, you know, economically and all that. And then from Mary Ellen's shout out, I got a shout out um, afterwards, after, not right away, but my second shout out was from Natalie the Beauty Diva. And Natalie the Beauty Diva and I have a lot in common. So she's younger than me, but we both live in very cold climates. And, uh, you know, we both have somewhat, although her skin is in much much better condition than mine but I have learned an awful lot from her and she gave me my second shout out so I, I will forever ever be grateful for those ladies and for many of the others that came after her that I've collabed with my first collaboration was actually my good friend Marlene Fab and Glam and Marlene and I I don't even remember I'd have to look back but she was the first one that talked to me about doing a collaboration and she did it with me and I had never really done one before that. So Marlene Fab and Glam, I mean, that was just like totally, totally awesome. And you know, I've had, I had gifts sent to me, which, you know, the very first package I ever got was actually from Marlene Fab and Glam. And she sent me a bunch of skincare masks and things that she thought I would like. And I was like dumbfounded by it. I said, wow. And, um, my second totally off the cuff unexpected gift 
was from this really lovely lady named Glitzy Fritzy. And what Mary did, she sent me, and I'll have to, I don't have the box in front of me, but the box came and it was, it was from eBay. And uh, inside it, and I'm not even going to say it, well I'm going to say it, even though I say it wrong all the time. I think you guys like to correct me anyway, so why not, right? Nivea. So she sent me the Skin Firming and Soothing Concentrated Serum. Two bottles of this. You know this is like super, super hard to get. So, you know, I was like, wow. And I am sure that, I'm sure I'm leaving people out. I don't, I don't know. But those were, you know, Marlene's package to me, unexpected, totally. And then Mary's package to me, unexpected, totally thrilled me. I, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful that I have you all in my life. I absolutely am thankful. I appreciate all my subscribers. You are all fantastic. So one of the things that I've had a question that I really want to address is how am I using, because many of you know I bought the Microderm Trophy Skin and this is the Derma Braids. I bought this I will link this below, and yes, I do. I just want to tell you that I do use Magic Links at times. Sometimes I use Magic Links even though the brand might not be honoring it, but it's a way of tracking clicks, I guess. But um, so I do use my, I do use Magic Links. I just recently got approved for that. So if you do use my link, I get a few pennies. I totally appreciate that. You don't have to. You can shop around. But I got this a great, great buy on QVC, and you have those, you know, those payments and all that stuff. So I bought this. And I also, you're going to think, oh my God, she is a nut. But I also bought the spatula, the LaBelle Ultrasonic Skin Spatula. So I bought both of these on a payment plan. And I thought, how am I going to use them? And so since I bought them, I've had a number of questions from you all on how am I going to use this? So I am a Retin-A user. I have used Retin-A. I, I did a two-year anniversary. I'll link that video so that you can all see it if you haven't. But I use Retin-A, and I buy my Retin-A very, very affordable overseas in an overseas pharmacy. I will link where I buy it, but my tube of Retin-A cost me under $10. It's usually about 6 bucks. The most expensive part is the shipping, believe it or not. So um, anyway, so I was using my 1% Retin-A and still going through my 0.050 Retin-A. I also use that weakest one down my neck with my rose hips. So I still am doing that. I, um, I was reading the website. I contacted Trophy Skin and I said, I want to incorporate how to use this with my Retin-A use. And they came out and said to me, we would not recommend you do that. We do not think that you should be using Retin-A when you're using our product. And I believe they also said that on the website. So I was like, oh, you know, okay. You know, these companies, they have to just like have their disclosures, this disclaimers, their don't do, just like I do. I'm not a skin, you know, advisor. I'm not giving advice. You guys got to do your own thing. So I know a number of other ladies that also use Retin-A. So what I've been doing since I got this, I've only, I've used this exactly three times and I think it's been a month and a half. I'd have to really look at it. So what my plan is currently with this system and I love it because when you turn it on you have this little black filter. No matter how clean your face is it's amazing all the gunk that comes right out. It's like wow. So I'm using this currently every three weeks is my plan. Now plans are made to be broken you know, goals, right? Diet goals, whatever. You plan. If you don't plan, you get nowhere, in my opinion. So, you know, you have to make a plan on how you're going to do this. So every three weeks for me currently, I am going to, what I've been doing is two days before I use this, I stop applying my Retin-A. And then I do this. And I've been trying to do this on a Sunday night or a Saturday night. And I will run this over my skin and follow the pat and turn it on. I'm on the weakest level. And still when I get done doing the exfoliation part of this, I it's like amazing to me the little black filter is full of gunk. It's like totally grosses me out. Even though I think I have clean skin. So I'm going to continue to use this even though if those of you that are using Retin-A and um, you have to be very, very careful 
obviously overuse using it too strong is going to destroy your skin you've got to find your own balance the manufacturer says don't use retin-a with this so don't do what I'm saying. I'm just telling you what I'm doing because all of you are asking. I've got so many questions. So that's how I'm using this currently. About every three weeks, I drop down on my retin-A use a few days before. I'm very careful. I check my skin out. If I have any kind of an irritation or excessively flaky, I won't go to this. I'll wait another day. I'll let the retin-A go through. And I monitor my skin. I look in that 10 times mirror and... Um, that's pretty scary, <laughs> but I do monitor my skin. So that's the plan for this. Now my Trophy Skin Labelle Skin Spatula, this to me is, this to me is opening up my pores, cleaning out my pores. And I didn't really quite understand the differences between the two when I bought them, but this one I use a lot. I probably use this twice a week just for cleaning out my pores and I am amazed even though I might use a glycolic exfoliation or any other type of an exfoliation I am amazed when I use this that I can actually see stuff coming out of my pores and I have big pores so I my goal is to try to shrink them so what I've been doing is I do this at night after I wash and then when I'm all done this, I just flip it over to the other side because the other side is sort of like something that'll help your serum sink in deeper. So I flip it over to the other side and I put my niacinamide on and I, and I just run it that way to help it sink in deeper. And then at night, because I'm using my niacinamide and I use the Ordinary's Buffet at night, it's what I, my normal routine is. And then after that, I use my Retin-A. But that's how I'm incorporating this. So about two times a week. I have no problem with it maybe even doing three times a week. But, you know, if you own one of these and you're debating and you have large pores, this really cleans the crap out of your pores. I'm like, wow, I love it. And, I mean, I am pretty good with taking care as far as cleaning my skin. So I wanted to mention these because I've had so many questions. I did the live. I talked about the trophy skin. I talked that I got this, this bachelor. I've mentioned it in other videos and I've had so many questions on Instagram and also here on YouTube and on my Facebook page. I'm going to link my Facebook page if you, uh, I have a, a Facebook page that is just sort of a beauty related. So I'm going to link that for you guys below. And uh, so I've had so many questions. So I, you know, I don't know. Uh, right now that's how I'm using it. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. You need to use your own judgment. But um, I also... I'm also loving my results. I have a long way to go. You know, I'm not perfect. If you come to my channel looking for a perfect beauty diva, it's not me, guys. It's not me. I'm just me. And I am far from perfect. My skin is far from perfect. But I'm willing to put myself out there. I'm willing to share what I'm doing, what isn't working for me, what is working for me, etc. So um, when you put yourself out there, you know, you have to expect that not everyone is going to love what you do or approve of what you do. Just look at my diet video. I had many people that were a little um, not too happy that it was talking in a negative way about keto, but I'm talking about my experience. Keto was not sustainable for me long term, and it just wasn't. So a more balanced carb diet, um, when I say carb diet, it's a low carb diet, but it's more balanced. The berries, the strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Um, you know, the an apple. I mean, the more balanced type of a low-carb program for me is what's working. It feeds my cravings in the sense that I feel totally satisfied so I don't have a craving because I am getting a good balance of some carbs. So that said, Jay and I, you know, our son moved out of his efficiency apartment in our hayloft and so we're thinking of renovating that space but in the interim in the winter and I've talked about this that we're going to be doing some sort of a clean out of our attic because I have stuff up there from the people that <laughs> we bought the house from years ago. Uh, so we're going to do a massive clean out. We're going to shift stuff and move stuff to the hayloft, go through, have a big yard sale. That's our fall winter project to have a big yard sale in the spring. But one of the things that I found and I'm going to share with you in a moment but one of the things that he found was I had been given an award. It's called the Realtor of the Year Award. And the Realtor of the Year Award is a special award. It is something that is given to a realtor member that meets, oh, <laughs> knocked off my foundation, meets certain requirements. And anyways, I had been totally surprised one night when I went to the realtor, I had been nominated, but I'd also been nominated 
other times in the past and never got it. So I was really totally surprised and I'm going to share this little video clip because this is one of the things that I had hung on to and hung on to and finally in my efforts to declutter decided it was time to let go. Who would care about this? So I'm going to put it here. You can watch this or you can end here now. If you end here now, I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And again, I totally, totally appreciate every single one of you, all of your support. And I'm still far off. I'm like, I have a ways to go before I hit 8,000, but I'm going to, I'm putting together a giveaway for that. And I'm just so excited. I never thought I would ever be near 8,000, you know, never mind, you know, 2,000 when I got to that point. So that's all. Oh, and I am definitely, yes, some of you are going to hate this, but my hair is just wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> so I will tell you that I do think that in the bright light, the um, this wig is more shinier because in, in real life outside in the natural light it is not shiny at all but this is my Henry Magoo Hayden and I love this wig I don't care if anyone else doesn't but I love this wig love it love it love it so that's the scoop guys thank you so much and you'll see it's snowing behind me in my winter uh, winter wonderland out there you guys went through last winter with me, spring, fall, summer. I had to open the shades and show you what's outside my window today. It's the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm hoping this gets published tonight, but I have so much work to do. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of editing. So thank you so much, guys. Bye. Love you. Have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. This was put together by my local board of realtors in 2009. And that was the Greenwich State Board of Realtors. And they put this display together as a surprise to me and some of the years and some of the things have fallen off here but this kind of showed when I became a member of the national when I joined Granite State South Rockingham board and then 2009 realtor of the year so they put this together and this was all over the function hall that the realtor of the year ceremony was being held and of course I had no idea so they took some images off of my blog at the time I was really blogging a lot and so they took these images and they just put you know printed out some of them some of the highlights I guess if you want to look at it that way when I got there that night I was like wow when I was nominated you know real to the air I didn't really think I would make it because there's always some really stiff competition but yeah so you know they hear highlights of my of my career up to 2009 I didn't want to get rid of this for the longest time for the longest time I had these standing and then I had them piled together in a corner oh my god look how fat I was look at that look at JJ with hair and there I am installing someone and I said oh there I'm being installed I think or I'm doing something that's me right there with my updo see I wore my hair up back then when I had longer hair and here my hair is up too, you just can't really see it. So they put this display together and they didn't, you know, until I was actually announced as Realtor of the Year, I, I had no idea and I couldn't see this. And then after they did that, you know, then, then they brought out the boards with all of these pictures. This is me as a little girl, as a hippie, as another little girl, <laughs> and as a baby in Germany in Germany and as a young mother, young wife, instructor, teenager. It was just like really amazing. They put all this together, a picture of my wedding, one of my early business card photos, and then some of our adventures, futuristic realtor back then, because I was blogging, I was doing a whole lot of stuff. And Jay and I having um, lobsters, a lobster fest, Look at that. Even They even got some pictures of my sister and my dad, my son and myself, me and my mom back then. You know, they, they just scoured, I guess, my social media sites to, um, to grab some of these photos. And then they just kind of printed them out. They're not, they're just in paper. You know, they're not in, um, you know, photo stock or anything like that. But I just thought it was amazing that they took the time to go through all of my social sites put together this collage of basically, you know, my life. And um, 
you know, photo contest. <laughs> that was a cute little contest. They had, to, they had to guess who was me. And out of all these little kids, you know, actually Jay is on here too. But this one is me. And this one is Jay. So, you know, here I am in, in the, right here in the corner in the red. I know none of you really probably care about this, but I just thought I would just do this videotape, add this to maybe a vlog. We'll see. I just, you know, these are actually pictures here, but good you can see I have the hooded eyes. And there's Jay, me. So some of these are pictures, actually. Hmm. They must have printed out. And this is like something from convention. This is like a newsletter highlight. <laughs> wow. It's heavy in me. The early years, where's Monty? So they have to kind of guess, huh? So they put this all together, and it was like just really cool. And then, of course, the last one was this one. And that was my 2009. I became Realtor of the Year. And I, I was just like totally totally blown away by the honor to be have nominated and then to have won the Realtor of the Year status was just really super, super big for me. So before I trash this forever, I just thought I would do this, kind of line them up on my couch and take a look at the collage that they put together on that very special night for me. I'll never forget it. Treasured memories treasured memories. Thanks for letting me share them.